Hey there, shop rats and industry titans, let's talk trash. Not the stuff we throw away, but the waste that piles up in manufacturing. It's the silent killer of efficiency and profits. We're diving deep into the world of lean manufacturing. We'll tackle the three M's, Muda, Mura and Muri. These Japanese terms are your roadmap to identifying and eliminating waste. And don't forget downtime. This acronym breaks down the eight common wastes found on factory floors everywhere. Get ready to roll up your sleeves and learn how to streamline your operations, boost your bottom line and leave waste in the dustbin where it belongs. First up, let's break down the three M's. They're the foundation of understanding waste in manufacturing. Muda is all about activities that don't add value for the customer. Think unnecessary movement, defects, overproduction. It's like adding sprinkles to a cake that's already frosted. Mura is unevenness or inconsistency in your processes. Imagine a production line where output fluctuates wildly. That's Mura, and it creates bottlenecks and delays. Muri is overburdening your resources, whether it's your machines or your people. Pushing them beyond their limits leads to breakdowns, defects and burnout. Now, let's break down the eight wastes using the acronym DOWNTIME. Each one is a drain on your resources and your profits. Defects. A defective product is a waste of time, materials and customer trust. Overproduction. Making more than you need ties up resources and creates storage headaches. Waiting. Whether it's materials, machines or approvals, waiting is a time thief, non-utilised talent. Not using the skills and knowledge of your workforce is a missed opportunity. Transportation moving materials unnecessarily adds no value and increases the risk of damage. Inventory, excess inventory ties up capital and increases the risk of obsolescence. Motion, unnecessary movement of people or equipment wastes time and energy. Excess processing, doing more than necessary to complete a task is inefficient and costly. Now that we've identified the enemies of efficiency, let's talk about fighting back. Lean manufacturing is all about working smarter, not harder. To tackle overproduction, embrace just-in-time JIT manufacturing. Produce only what you need, when you need it. This minimizes waste and keeps your inventory lean. Combat unevenness with standard work. Establish clear, consistent procedures for every task. This reduces variability and improves quality. Avoid overburden by balancing workloads. Ensure that both your people and your equipment are being utilised effectively, without being pushed beyond their limits. Section 5. Muda in Action, a case study in overprocessing. Let's say you're building a birdhouse. You meticulously sand every edge, apply three coats of paint, and then decide it needs a weatherproof sealant. That's overprocessing. The customer just wants a simple functional birdhouse. All that extra work adds cost and time without adding value. It's Muda in action. The lean approach, identify the customer's requirements and focus on meeting them efficiently. Don't overcomplicate things. Section six, the domino effect of Mura. How unevenness impacts the entire system. Imagine a production line where one station works faster than the others. This creates a bottleneck. Work piles up while other stations are left idle. That's Mura. This unevenness creates a ripple effect. It disrupts the flow, increases lead times and can even compromise quality. The solution? Level out the workload. Identify and address the root causes of variability. Strive for a smooth, consistent flow throughout your entire process. Section 7. Muri, the unsustainable burden on your workforce and equipment. Forcing your machines to run at maximum capacity might seem efficient in the short term, but it's a recipe for disaster. Just like your body, machines need rest and maintenance. The same goes for your workforce. Overworking your employees leads to burnout, injuries and decreased morale. It's not sustainable. Listen to your team and your equipment. Respect their limits and build in time for rest and maintenance. A well-rested workforce and properly maintained equipment are essential for long-term success. Section 8. Kaizen. The continuous journey towards manufacturing excellence. Kaizen, a core principle of lean manufacturing, is all about continuous improvement. 
It's about fostering a culture where everyone is empowered to identify and eliminate waste. Encourage your team to speak up, implement a system for suggesting and implementing improvements. Even small changes can have a significant impact over time. Remember, lean manufacturing is not a destination, it's a journey. Embrace the process of continuous improvement and watch your efficiency soar. Section 9, Reclaiming Efficiency, your path to a leaner, more profitable future. We've covered a lot of ground here, from the three M's to the eight wastes of downtime. But remember, knowledge without action is like a toolbox full of unused tools. Start by identifying the areas where waste is most prevalent in your operations. Then implement the strategies we've discussed to eliminate or reduce that waste. It won't happen overnight, but with commitment and a focus on continuous improvement, you can transform your manufacturing process into a lean, mean, profit-generating machine. Section 10. Join the Lean Revolution. So there you have it, folks. The lowdown on lean manufacturing. Remember, eliminating waste isn't about working harder, it's about working smarter. Now get out there and start squeezing the waste out of your operations. If you found this helpful, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and share this with your fellow shop rats and industry titans. Let's spread the lean gospel. Got questions or war stories about tackling waste in your own operations? Drop them in the comments below.